today's notes are going to be about the brain. So make sure that you write down any questions that you have. We can go over them in class. Also in class, we're going to look at diagrams. We'll get out some models. And hopefully, the information that you write down today will make a lot more sense after we go over it in class as well. Just a few facts about the brain first. You don't have to write these down, but they might come in handy later. The brain has a weight or mass of about 3 pounds. There are 100 billion neurons in the brain, but there are no nerve cells for pain in the brain. And the brain is held in shape by things called membranes. One of the people that we're going to talk about more in class is a man named Phineas Gage. And he survived having a metal rod um, go through his head. But one of the things that happened as a result of this is that his personality changed and his emotions changed. This is one of the first times um, opportunities that scientists had to better understand the brain. So here is kind of a diagram of what that looked like. Now, we have some books in the library, and actually they're in the classroom now, uh, biographies of Phineas Gage. And we'll talk a little bit more about his accident um, and how his personality changed in class. We're going to talk about three major parts of the brain. We're going to talk about the cerebrum, the cerebellum, and the brain stem. That's what we're going to focus on. This is just a cross section of a human brain, kind of pointing out some different things, just to give you another idea of what the brain looks like. So we're going to start with the cerebrum, which is the largest part of the brain. This controls touch, hearing, smell, vision. So basically your senses, muscular movement, emotions, decision making, speech, and personality. Your cerebrum interprets information from the senses, so things that you see, things that you hear. Um, the cerebrum is interpreting that. It also carries out complex mental processes. So when you're doing math and science and other things, Anything that's complex requiring lots of thinking is going on there. The right half controls the left side of the body, and the left half controls the right side of the body. The next part that we're going to talk about is the cerebellum. This is the major center of motor coordination, so movement and when you're um, moving your hands, walking, things like that. The cerebellum has three separate regions that coordinate functions like balance, eye and head movement, posture, so how you sit and how you stand, locomotion, which means how you move, and fine motor skills, like holding a pencil and writing. Um, the cerebellum, for example, helps you to ride a bike to keep your balance and stay on there. The last part that we're going to talk about is the brain stem. This is made of the medulla, the pons, and the midbrain. The brain stem controls your involuntary actions, things that you don't consciously think about all the time, things that happen automatically. Things like breathing and your heart rate, your heartbeat. The brainstem also controls sleep regulation and it works with the endocrine system for the fight or flight response. That's all the notes for this time. Make sure you wrote down any questions that you have. We're going to work with some diagrams, we're going to use the models, and we'll explain this in a lot more detail.